This is how to fold a paper crane. You start with a square piece of paper. Ooh, ah. Fold it corner to corner. You guys can make the sound effects, the ooh and ahs. Okay. Into a triangle. That wasn't a very good triangle. I'm going to make a better one. All right, triangle. Long side, corner to corner. This is going up on the internet. Well, it's going up on our class website. Yeah, that scares me a little. All right. So now you have another triangle that is joined like that. You're going to take each of these sides and fold them back at the point. Like that. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. You'll notice I am um, sharpening my creases because it makes it easier to fold. Other side. Now you just sound silly. So now what I have is something that kind of looks like that. It's all joined up here, but on the other side, there's all the, the white side, the other side of the paper here. So what you're going to do is hold on to it by the side that's joined, this side here. Hold on to that. You're going to open one of the corners, the ones that you just folded in, and you're going to switch it so that this inside fold comes to an outside fold, and this then flattens down into a square. You do the same thing on the other side. Okay, you still have this. Open it. This comes up. You change it to an outside fold and you bring it down like that into a square. Okay, straighten out your folds. Now, it's still joined up here at the top. You've got these two sides like this. Down at the bottom, there's all that inside white paper. It's a flower. It's not a flower, it's a square at the moment. Well, it was like that. Fold it in. Just into this middle line. Again, make sure that this is the side that you're folding so that this is along that middle line. And you're turning it into a kite. Okay, now I can't see. There we go. I'm making a video. Same thing on the other side. Now you have your kite. It is joined at the top. It is not joined at the bottom. Exactly. This part is really just to make the next part easier. You fold the top triangle back and forth a little bit so that it becomes flexible. Then you are going to open this up, bring this, pay, this, this top part up. Where that fold that you just created is, it's going to go down like a mouth. And then you are going to flatten it into a diamond. What you're trying to do is the folds that you had before, you're kind of replicating them, but changing the direction. So there's my diamond on that side. Same thing on the other side. I put my fingers down, pull it up, fold it into a mouth. What? I don't know. Oh, no. This is the part that he gets his legs. So now you have a diamond, and like Matt and I were just talking, legs. To make it look really cool, I'm going to show you another step, which I didn't show you when I was teaching you. Take this, fold it in, 
take this, fold that in, same thing on the other side, it just gives it a little more depth. Okay, now we have a slightly skinnier diamond, sort of. It opens like this, take this part, which was one of the legs, fold it up into a diagonal, like that, oops, like that. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're open, fold it, close, and you just want that to be another diagonal. Give him a head on one side by folding it in. So you just take this little part, you fold it down and in like that. And then you can very carefully grab the tail, not the tail, sorry, the um, two sides there and pull it a little bit. And grab the two sides here and pull it a little bit. And there he has some depth. And there is your paper crane, like that, like that. Hey!